Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ben, otherwise known as Drake Nightwing. Let's continue to play some Pokemon Kaizo Blue. So, when we last left off, uh, we went ahead and we uh, defeated Misty. We finally got the ability to uh, cut down trees, and we went to go get the HMO5, which was Flash. Unfortunately, uh, we kind of had our progress impeded by a uh, stubborn body of water that we unfortunately need Surf for. The main problem with that is that, unfortunately, as of this moment, getting Surf is going to be a little bit further down the line, and it kind of irritates me considering the fact that uh, by the time that we need Surf, or by the time that we actually get Surf, um, we're not really going to need the HM that we actually need Surf for, so... Uh, it just kind of makes me a little bit angry because of the fact that uh, the main reason we even went to go get Flash to begin with is because Rock Tunnel is coming up. And um, the fact that uh, we're not going to have Flash to help us through that is not something I am looking forward to. Not something I am looking forward to in the least. But anyway, um, I suppose that might be actually kind of, uh, interesting. I uh, just... The thing is, is that with, um, the layout being changed from this particular ROM hack from the original Red and Blue, I'm kind of only curious as to, uh, what exactly awaits us. So anyway, oh, another sleep powder. You know... I probably should be doing that right at this moment, as opposed to playing video games, but no! Mr. Ben decides that he wants to play video games. He has an audience to entertain. Sleep is for the weak. In a way, I'm kind of, um, glad that, um, you know, I'm down here in my room to actually be able to talk and recording myself, as opposed to my original room upstairs, because... I'd probably have, like, my mom coming in, bursting in, being like, Mr. Ben, what the hell are you doing? And I'd turn to her and I'd be like, I'm playing Pokemon Kaiser Blue. And she'd be like, it is 3.30 in the goddamn morning, what are you doing playing Pokemon Kaiser Blue? And I'd be like, because I've lost control of my life. Oh, no, I haven't actually lost control of my life, but, you know. Ugh. And Mr. Ben ruins the joke anyway. Anyhow, let's keep moving on. Ooh, an item. What's this? Ooh, TM30. What does that hold? I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me. I don't know what that has. Let's see what we got. TM30, TM30. What does you hold for me? Teleport! Ooh. And not a damn one of these people is able to learn it. That's fine. I got dig. I don't need a teleporting thing. Oh, cool, we get to fight a Canadian. Not that they say A out at the end of their sentences all that much, eh? Let's see, what do you got for me? Uh, Hitmonlee! Going up against the normal type, I should probably switch him out, but that's never stopped me before. No sirree, Bob. And I'll take him out in one hit. Oh, I knew it. Poor Jerry. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, I want to... You know what? I want to use you. I haven't used you in a while. Let's see. Only in Generation 1 does Bite is actually a normal type. It actually was a dark type from Generation 2 on, and is therefore not really all that useful when fighting against fighting types. That's one of the few quirks of the, um, old Generation 1 that I have to admit that, uh, I find kind of interesting. It was actually kind of fun, or not really fun, but um, kind of amusing, I should say, that a, an attack that in Generation 1 that couldn't affect normal types is uh, actually one of the moves that, um, it, that ghost types are weak against from Generation 2 on. And, oh, I completely forget that rock types are not effective against ground types. I wonder why that is. That's actually kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to look on that. 
But anyway, that's not going to be much of an issue. I'd go back and go for the uh, Pokemon Center that's back in Cerulean, but at the same time, I know that there is a uh, Pokemon Center just before we get into the Rock Tunnel, so let's go ahead and keep pressing forward, because we're going to eventually get to that sooner or later. I'm also kind of curious... Oh, I was about to say, hmm, how do I get down there, but... Oh... I kind of get the feeling that, um every trainer that we're gonna be f up against on this route is one we're gonna have to have no choice but to fight against. Kinda like what we did when we was going to the SSN. I just I just have that feeling we're gonna be forced into fighting each and every single one of these people. Not that it really matters though. I mean it's good experience. I mean we need the, we need the XP. I want to evolve my Pokemon here uh, as soon as possible. And, um... With my War Total, I only got, like, five more levels to do that! So, hooray! Out like a light, yes! Extinguish that as good as... Well, Mr. Ben can't talk on tonight. Of course Mr. Ben can't talk tonight, it's 3.30 in the goddamn morning! <laughs> Why is Mr. Vin playing Pokemon Kaizo Blue at 3.30 in the goddamn morning? Why, well, he already unanswered that question already. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep fighting, of, keep pressing forward. And Level 100. Are you kidding me? Level 100. Oh, jeez. I thought the level 100 Weedle was bad. Now you're going after me with the level 100 Kakuna. Are you bloody kidding me? You are not bloody kidding me. Oh, jeez. Um, we are going to be here a while, I think. We are definitely going to be here for a while. And you even have two Pokemon, I believe, you had in the party. I'm actually sort of curious what your second Pokemon is going to be. Please don't let it be a level 100 Metapod. I will be so mad. I will be so very mad. Oh. I'm going to have to get you to my fighting type, aren't I? Yes, I am. Alright, well, not a problem. That is most definitely not a problem. We'll just burn your ass! Yeah, that's what I like. Critical strikes. Also, I have a feeling I'm going to be busting out the super potions here sooner or later. You know, that might not be a bad idea to do that. I don't know, I only got three of them. I should probably be using them sparingly. Not that it matters, because even with level 100, uh... It's not really giving out a whole lot of... Not dealing out a whole lot of damage. Which I suppose I should be grateful for. And I got him a burn! <laughs> what you gonna do about that now, sucker? Oh, that's what I like to see. Yes! Burn! Burn to the ground! Yay, one more level up. And, oh, I knew it's a Metapod. Let me guess, it's level 100. Oh, someone pick up the bloody phone, because I've fucking called it. Oh. Seriously, I mean, level 100, come on. <laughs> you know, that just... I don't know what's worse, just... That, that awkward silence where I simply cannot think of anything to speak of or just just the fact that um, I, I don't know I, I, I honestly just don't can't think of anything to say I mean here I am at 3.30 in the freaking morning I'm playing Pokemon Blue and I'm fighting against a level 100 Pokemon and I'm like <laughs> why am I not in bed <laughs> Uh. But, you know, priorities. 
<laughs> this was a total waste of time. But you know what's not a waste of time? Playing Pokemon at 3.30 in the morning. I think I hear somebody upstairs. I wonder if I'm getting my... wonder if I'm waking my family up for this. <laughs> I can only wonder if my... <laughs> what my family would be saying to me if uh, they were come down and be like... <clears throat> what is it with me and asking these questions I've already asked earlier that... that bleh, earlier in this recording. I'm gonna go ahead and swap my Pokemon out, cause I need to get him some more experience. Yes, he does. He needs to get more experience, cause he's only at level 31. Let's see, Ivysaur. Uh, should I? Nah. No, no, no. I think I'll go ahead and keep my eye my Dugtrio out even despite the type disadvantage because he has a type advantage anyway. Oh, and Wigglytuff. Almost half expected to be level 100 anyway even though that was uh... that's clearly not the case there. So. Oh. And we've won pretty handily. No, you can't measure up. You don't even have a tape measure on you, do you? That was just a weak reference. Anyway, let's keep going on. I don't know. Should I continue pressing on? Because my team is at... Man, my team is in no condition to keep going. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious as to how much further I can press them. And that Pokemon Center is not too far from here, is it? It certainly can't be. I'm only curious how much more um, people I've got ahead of me. Shouldn't be that much of a deal, I would think. I mean, I still got a half a party. Two Pokemon, if nothing else. Both of them at full power. I mean, I know my Venusaur is at full power. I mean, I haven't used it at, this, <laughs> at all this recording. Huh. <sighs> You know, I kind of wonder if any of my friends are on at this point. I'd probably go ahead and just give them a call on Skype and be like, Hey, would you like to co-commentate with me and while I'm playing Pokemon Kaizo Blue? It's 3.30 in the morning! And then they'd be like, Oh, Mr. Ben, it's 3.30 in the morning, you should be in bed! <laughs> and I'd be like, but I'm not tired! I'm not sleepy! And I want somebody to co-commentate with me. I mean, I'd ask Nate, but I mean... And I, I don't get me wrong, I love having him on with me, but kind of like to have a little bit of extra variety. Maybe see if I can. I need to contact Chris and ask him. Hey, I'm doing a playthrough of Pokemon Kaizo Blue. How about you co-commentate with me? I think he'd like to do that. I mean, I know I'd certainly ask Elliot to do that, but he's kind of busy working on a project that uh, the two of us are going to be doing uh, along with our friend Tim. And, um, I know that he's, he'd be, like, really, uh, while I think he'd be interested, I'd, I really don't want to pull him away from the project that he's working on. And, I'd love to have Tim on me with me, but the problem is, is that Tim's, like, in Russia. And, uh, I'd say that despite the difference in time, I, I don't know if he'd really care for, you know, coming on with me. I'm not even sure if he's really all that much into Pokemon either. I mean, I, he's been following the the Let's Play, but I don't know if he actually plays the games that much, so... I really don't really know a um, whole lot about his interests, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we, we do have similar instruments in the show that we do with the podcast that we've been doing every Sunday, but... Uh, look at me talking about him as if he ain't here. What kind of friend am I? Not a very good one, I think. Uh, f oh, wrong Pokemon. Yeah, Mr. Ben, just philosophical differences with just musings at 3.40 in the morning. Yeah, that's just what I'd like to do. 
I'd also go ahead and ask Jess if she'd like to come on and do co-commentating with me, but she'd be like, no, I don't want to go ahead and have people listen to my voice, and I'd be like, I'm talking to her, and we'd be like, you have a beautiful voice. I mean, it's absolutely lovely. And she'd be like, no, I don't want people listening to me, and I'd be like, why? And I'm like, ugh. It's just one of those type of things. It's like, you tell a girl she's beautiful and she doesn't believe you. You tell a girl she's ugly and she don't will never let you forget it. What is it about women, man? It's just... Uh, life's greatest mysteries. <laughs> Anyhow, um... The things I think of to myself while I'm just randomly speaking to myself. Crazy... Super potion, really? Well, at least it didn't fully heal you. I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm still kind of curious as to how these NPCs have all these uh, high-end items. Although super potion is not really a high-end item, it's more of a medium-tier item, I should say. Uh, but still, I mean, the NPCs never had these uh, games in the original. Oh, there I go again, saying that they're in the original games. Mr. Ben, how many times do I have to tell you this is a bloody ROM hack? ROM hacks are so much different than the original games. How many times do we have to go over this, you fat, bloody idiot? Uh, but, of course, there is a absolutely a very good reason by the fact that uh, you don't remember this. And that fact is the fact that it is 3.40 in the morning, bloody morning! And of course, here it is, it's quarter till four in the morning, you're getting your ass kicked by a Wigglytuff. That had, did almost absolutely no damage to you. And... <laughs> Blizzard and Psychic. I suppose I should be glad that it hasn't been frozen. I, sh I said... I suppose I should be glad it's already paralyzed, because if it wasn't paralyzed, it stands a chance of being frozen. And... And... I really need to go heal my team up. Hot diggity damn. And I was hoping to get somewhere this, uh, this update. Why do I get the feeling I am forgetting to do something? Probably because it's frickin' 4 o'clock in the morning, practically. But, uh, Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and I'm gonna go... get attacked by a wall of Pokémon! I am going to run away from it, because I don't want to deal with the bleed drill at nearly quarter to four in the frickin' morning. What do you mean I can't escape? No! I can't! Mm, no! Arg! Rage. Anger. Frustration. Yes! Oh, phew! And... Please don't tell me I'm stuck. Please don't tell me I'm stuck. It is quarter till four in the bloody morning. I don't need this aggravation. Oh. No. Are you kidding me? You are not bloody kidding me. Arg. Oh. This is not good. No, oh, Zubat, what are you doing outside of a cave? Arg! Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and end this before I get too aggravated. I am Mr. Ben. Thank you all for joining me. And next time when we level, when we uh, next time when we pick up, we will continue to head out and uh, hopefully reach the rock tunnel. This. Thank you for joining me. Take care, everybody. It is four o'clock in the bloody morning. Good night.